What is up guys, today I'm back once again with another video. I'll be teaching you guys how to build a 36 volt, 10 amp hour lithium battery pack. I'll basically be showing the steps of building a lithium battery and the process you'll need to take if you are deciding to build a pack of this size. So let's just get right into it. So first, um, you want to head onto eBay and order some 4x5 cell holders or whatever suits your need. You can get um, 1x1 one one, which is just one square. I think you can get 3x4 so if that um, caters for your needs then I recommend getting that. The next thing when building a lithium battery pack is obviously getting lithium cells. You can obtain these by going to local battery companies such as Battery World or any kind of battery company. You also need a some sort of discharger um, I use the IMAX B6 to uh, charge all these cells and discharge them and get a calculated capacity. Each cell got roughly 2 amp hours each, so since these are in parallel that's equal to 10 amp hours. And then you got 10 in series to get 36 volts. So that's the basic process of it. Now you want to obviously put these cell holders in and then I'll get to soldering these. So the essential process is putting a bar across and then fuses going to the, the positive in series. So that's basically what I'm going to do and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So guys I am now in the shed and I have put together the battery pack by locking down the plastic, plastic holders. So now it's all um, one big solid pack. It's all nice now it's rigid and all that kind of stuff. So now what you want to do is tin the ends of the uh, batteries on each side and then the bottom as well so then when you get the copper bus bars like this they're kind of thin but I'm not drawing that much amps anyway so I mean you want to solder these on and then um, you, you want to solder these on and it, I'm not having fuses on here so I'm just going to solder it straight across on each row and then I'm going to connect them in series and that'll be basically the battery done so not worrying about fuses because I feel that it's not really worth it all the time and effort that goes into soldering them and it may not even work in the end. The batteries in laptop batteries usually short out because there's too much strain on them or they're always being charged. In this case you've got more than one in parallel so it's less strain on them. They're not getting overcharged, they're not getting over discharged because I'm constantly monitoring them. So I feel that it's not necessary for fuses and if one battery fails it's only going to kill four others so it's not really like it's a big pack it's just a small pack and if it's if it does stuff up then I'm not going to lose a whole lot of cells so I'm going to start tinning these up and then we will solder the bus bars on I have now finished tinning all the batteries now so now I can just uh, start soldering the bus bar straight on. So um, let's just start doing that now. I have now finished wiring up the bus bars and the... If you can see that the connecting the batteries in series. So now that's all connected in series. Basically how it works is a current flows through and as it goes to the next battery it just has another bus bar connecting it. So it kind of just goes through like a snake kind of is a, another way of thinking of it. Now what we need to do is attach this connector which will go into the back of my motor controller. So you just want to make sure you get the polarity right solder that up and you should have a working battery so I'm going to do that now and um, I'll show you once I've done that. As you guys can see I have now basically finished the battery. I have the connector hooked up all the batteries connected together and now I'm going to do a voltage test to see if everything's connected correctly and there's no bad solder connections. Try my best to measure this um, so you want to connect positive to positive and negative to negative. I kind of stuffed up with the series count. I only have 8 in series so I had to add 2 on the end so that gives me 10 in series and 5 in parallel. So now when you measure the voltage we are getting 38.8 I think that is and if you divide that by 10 it's 
roughly 3.8 volts per cell so look it's looking good um it's definitely working and uh if you do like this video please give it a like and subscribe for more battery videos like this and um if you're new to the channel definitely uh you know subscribe and like and just uh follow my progress on all my projects and uh yeah so that's pretty much it thanks for watching and uh i'll see you guys in the next video